Okay, Paul, your microphone is on. It means you are ready to answer a question. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh, there was a question where you were talking about reinfection, auto infection that time. So I was going to ask, like, please, can you explain what super infection is? Okay. Great. So when we're talking about reinfection, super infection, all those things, now look at the name. Reinfection means that you have been already been treated with the disease. Yes. But you have, I mean, after some time, you're having that same disease, but that same cause. Cause it different. That is okay. called reinfection. Now, superimposed infection is that you have the disease, okay? You have not been treated with it, and you're having, again, another disease again. That is called what? Super infection. Super infection means that the disease is not gone, and you have acquired another disease again. Super and infection. Auto infection, co. What's the difference between that and an auto infection then? Good. Auto infection simply means that, like the name implies, auto. Let's say the infection is, let's say, fecal aura. Let's say it's fecal aura. So in fecal aura, maybe the auto infection is that you yourself is causing that kind of infection. For example, those people who like biting their nails. Let's say there's an infection inside your nails and you are biting it. They cure you. You go and buy it again. The infection will come again. That is called auto infection. That means you are infecting yourself with that disease. Does it make sense to you? Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. That is called auto infection. So that's what reinfection again by you yourself. Uh huh. Reinfection by you yourself. I don't know if I get if I answer all your questions on it. Yes. Thank you. Great. 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 Uh, Yuma. Hello, sir. Yes. No Any question, question for the day? Yes. No, sir. No, sir. Thank God. Eh. Okay. Please, the yeah. videos. You said this weekend, so start. Today is Saturday. Yeah, sir. It's just two stop there to um, pharmacology and um, Balkan. Great. 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 Keep working hard, okay? Uh, yes, sir. I like your zeal. It's good. Keep working hard. Uh, yeah. AJ. Hello. Yes. How's it even uh, going? Mm. Mm, it's going well. Any question? No, please. Okay. But you are owing me precoc. You are owing me precoc. One. Mm. Oh. I I think so. Yeah, I owe you one. Last time. Okay. But please keep on yeah. doing it. I love how you're also solving your questions. It's as if you and uh, uh, Sarah, you're doing competition. And uh, really? what's the name? <laughs> and uh, Yara, the competition is so thick. I can be there, ping, 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 all of you are saying at the same time. I'm like, wow. Interesting. Please keep it up. You guys okay. should keep it up. Okay. Keep it up. Please keep it up. Mm. We are left with just how many days? Let's say two, three days. We don't have my mm -hmm. time. So keep working. Keep working. Sure. At, the end, at the end of this, I'll tell you guys an announcement for tomorrow. Then we will know what to do next. Uh, Hogla. Yeah. Yes. How is the evening going? It's going on well. It's going on well. Any question for the day? Um, please. There was one question on uh, Favus or something, something like that. Uh, honeycomb. Yes. Oh, yes. Infection. On the scalp, in I think it's in, it's in, in the first lecture also. There's an inf when there's an infection in the scalp, that is the head. We call it the honeycomb. Okay, some of them we call it the honeycomb, and uh, so the honeycomb is the same as the uh, the flavus. The flavus is flavus, not flavus. It's flavus. Aha, uh -huh. it's the same thing. So it's an infection on the scalp. I don't know if I can get the question, but I think it's in the first lecture. Yeah, yeah. So, however, you can put it on, on the on the page if you're able to snap it. You can put it on the Telegram page. I will come and give you the the uh, let me see the written part. Uh huh. So I will explain the fables to you better over there. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You are welcome, Doctor. Uh. Yes, Sarah.
Hello. Yes. Yo, I'm here. How is the night going? It's going okay. It's going okay. We thank God. Any question? Uh, no, really. No, no, really. Hello? No, I don't have question. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Again, continue some of the questions, okay? Let them come. Let them come. And to mo okay, you let me finish. Yaira. Sir. Yes. How is the evening? So fine. Today I know I'm too fast. Mm, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. Great. Is there any question you'd like to clarify? Mm, say no. Eh. So can I give you guys questions? Uh -huh, sir, I remember. Uh huh. <laughs> but please I'm tell listening. me about the cox A and the cox B. We are saying that the cox A and the cox B, they all cause what you call enterovirus, or then let me say they are causative agent for enterovirus. And then in cox A, is severe. Cox B is not severe. So in cox A, it can lead to paralysis and even death. In Cox B, because it is not severe, usually no problem or no cause for alarm. Basically, that is just it. Come again. They said they cause enteric. They both cause enteric cord. No, I said they both cause enterovirus. Entero. Oh, entero. Entero. E N E N T E R. Virus, enterovirus. And the question I think was on enterovirus. And it led to death. They, they were doing an experiment. I said, on... can we go to that question? Sure, 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 sure. I think it's in this same question. I mean, it's in this same folder. Great. This is a question, right? Yes, sir. Great. They are saying that a culture of monkey virus, sorry, monkey cells, and a group of mouse sucklings were infected with inoculum, with an inoculum taken from a child with enterovirus infection. There was no cytopathic effect on the cell culture. But the mouse suckling died. It is dead. It is dead. The question is, what virus might have caused the disease? So what means that in the enteros virus infection, inside it might have caused this uh, death in the mouse. And we are saying that we have what? Kosaki A? Sorry, Kosaki B and Kosaki A viruses that are found in what? Enterovirus. And we are saying that Kosaki A is severe, very severe case. That can lead to death, paralysis and death. In Kosaki, Kosaki B, it is mild, mild. So it doesn't cause any much problem. Does it make sense to you now? Yes, sir. That's why here our answer is Kosaki A, because the the, the the mouse died. The mouse died. So if the mouse died, that means whatever virus is there was severe. So we went in for the A. If it was not severe and the mouse was still alive, then we could have gone in for what? For B. We could have gone in for B. I hope it's clear now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Awesome. 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 Awesome.